IDBM Challenge Season 1 Season Finale. Now that you've found out how to change the world, it's time to understand for what purposes taking the bird's eye view. And with Alexi, we discuss the bigger changes happening in the society. But what next? Stay tuned for season two. Enjoy. Um, I'm joined here by Alexi. Uh, Alexi Nevonen from Demos Helsinki. Thanks for coming. Um, always here. fantastic. Um, could we start like, could you tell something about yourself? Like, you know, where do you come from, and you know, yeah, what's your story? Yeah. Uh, currently, I come from Demos Helsinki, and that's been my my story for the past twelve years. Uh, I studied together with my uh, with my friend Roope Mokko. We studied together uh, back uh, sometime in the nineties, and then ten years later, started the first independent think tank in Finland mm -hmm. back in two thousand five. Uh, that is now an organization of a little more than 30 people uh, in general working on, on a big uh, transformational feature topics of our societies of our of our era uh, what we do is is to help uh, organizations all societies and individuals as well mm. uh, to cope with this uh, transform transformational changes uh, that we experience starting from uh, from issues like climate change to changing role of machines, robots, artificial intelligence to, to questions like aging in, in, in society. And um, my role there is mainly to oversee our research uh, activities and how we bring about impact in society. Mm. Um, well, beyond that, my, 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 my background uh, academically uh, is first in, in philosophy, I studied philosophy at the University of Helsinki, mm -hmm. then later on um, mainly uh, future studies, different types of foresight methods. And most recently, uh, I've been working mainly on planning studies, thinking of such slow, slow moving uh, um, structures like, like cities, what we can understand of their change in a longer, longer uh, uh, distance future. Uh, what will, what will kind of, a, what things will change, what will pertain what are the things that we can change? What are the things that go beyond our our power? Mm. And that actually, I think, leads us nicely to uh, <coughs> some of, some of your kind of more recent stuff, the next era. Mm. Could you tell a bit about that? Like, what does it mean? And mm. yeah, next era is an initiative which uh, was intended to somehow. Uh, provide a new understanding of the transformation that we are undergoing uh, or let's say multiple transformation that we are uh, going through at the moment uh, partly coming from changes uh, caused by the digital tools and artificial intelligence partly by kind of a shift from uh, from economies that were based on manufacturing goods towards towards services uh, transformation from nation states towards more global uh, global community uh, transformation from fossil fuels to renewable uh, energy sources and so on hmm. uh, probably also transformation from representative democracy towards another type of kind of a participation um, and yeah these are all things that are apparently happening at the moment um, they are frightening causing different types of, of kind of uh, unrest in different parts Partly because people seem to, mm -hmm. to lack the, 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 the um, skills and capabilities to, to imagine what could come out beyond this transformation. What will societies look like if we, if we manage to make a, a smooth trans transformation? Mm -hmm. uh, what type of structures we have? I mean, and they all comes from the analogy uh, of the industrial revolution that. Mm -hmm. uh, the society in uh, 18th century was very, very different than it was at the end of, of 19th century. Yeah. Uh, and uh, many solutions that uh, came to be in place uh, late late 19th century, early 20th century, were not anything that would kind of uh, 
come from the tradition that, that there was in the, in the agrarian society. Mm. And same could happen now. Uh, within a few decades, uh, we could see totally different type of structures in societies. And then we, we still have to remember that most of the most of the structures that we have now in place came from the, the great industrial revolution as a reaction, as kind of a positive reaction to them, uh, providing people power, mm. people with more power, like 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 democratic systems, uh, providing people with a bit better uh, care and trust in society in each other, like welfare state or healthcare systems or educational systems. Uh, Providing more pleasant uh, living you know, environment like urban planning. Mm. Yeah. And they were all kind of uh, somehow contextual to the kind of the challenges of industrial revolution. Now we are potentially in the same same uh, t- type of transformation. And what Next Era aims to do is really to kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, create better understanding of this uh, of this transformation and also mm. to create vision on a good society. Beyond uh, beyond the current transformation, and then also motivate different type of people who are already making a move towards something new, helping them to connect by providing a, a shared narrative on the of the tra- transformation and, and the vision. Yeah. How do you develop your imagination skills? That's a good question. Um, I've been thinking that myself quite often. I think it's a matter of really kind of a <coughs> training, playing with that. I think uh, going through. I mean, spending enough time in different types of exercises where you uh, you try to uh, think of something that doesn't exist yet or mm. not necessarily only doing that but also reading or I mean watching watching movies or or, or just kind of experiencing different things and uh, that provides you uh, I mean at least ingredients for for those that I- imagination um, and I think it's then uh, the rest is about kind of allowing yourself to uh, to kind of combine things that don't necessarily make sense together mm. in the beginning, and yeah. then just have enough uh, enough confidence that okay, you might find the logic, you f- might find the kind of uh, the structure there. Although it looks like just kind of a really, uh, a kind of a uh, really rather random set of things together, <laughs> but yeah. then all of a sudden when you start kind of a, uh, toying with them, then you go, you get, you go forward. Some people claim that actually all of the big innovations of the future are in the from the beginning, just kind of a conceptual innovation. So they are not kind of a uh, kind of a things that would would, would come from. Um, combining mm. certain already existing technologies, let's say, mm. but there's a al- already uh, al- already kind of a two <coughs> concepts or several ideas combined, which is mostly about what could, what if we had this, or what would happen if we combined these, mm. or what if we kind of a. Uh, transfer this thing that used to be done this way to a new new domain or real. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that so so it kind of a, I think this is kind of a good evidence of that that you have to kind of play with this these ideas or uh, put yourself I mean it's of course some people can do that kind of a merely inside their own mind whenever but mm-hmm. I think quite often it's a matter of putting yourself into to well, context mm-hmm. or challenges, workshops, whichever, where you have to kind of uh, uh, spend time uh, combining things or thinking of, of of things that don't have kind of ready made ready made answers, mm-hmm. yeah. but kind of several alter- alternatives, uh, room for plenty of speculation. Yeah, what kind of advice would you would you give to a student of IDBM? They are starting their journey now. Mm. And well, first, probably a very good choice of, of studying here. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably the first one is to uh, that you should uh, find enough interaction between 
between kind of a, a really practical things like do, doing things yourself or or um, really uh, also observing things happening around you mm. and with the content that you do uh, in your studies. Uh, usually that's the best way of kind of a learning learning whatever and yeah. whichever thing and I think especially this program which has kind of a, a good connection to certain I mean rather kind of a complex uh, part of our of our world current contemporary mm. world so there are plenty of things to observe and plenty of things to also to uh, somehow participate your kind of a pra- in a very practical manner yourself yeah and uh, then also uh, being curious about uh, the new emerging things and um, kind of uh, thinking them I mean not only uh, in a way that what could come directly from this but what other kind of a contradictions that something can, can create uh, I mean mm-hmm. like if you see s- a, an interesting technology or a, a, a new business model emerging somewhere thinking also what could kind of a stop that of from being uh, important, or what could be the kind of a kind of un- unintended consequences of that, and then mm. you start probably finding really interesting things and combining that with your kind of a your practical uh, practical day to day activities. Yeah, can kind of help you to boost uh, in, into the kind of a journeys that enable you to find something something kind of extraordinary. It's an awesome tip. Um, thank you, Alexi. And now for the uh, tradition. Well, slowly turning into a tradition, yeah. but we have um, a set of ten words here. Um, I think is it like this uh, James Lipton guy? Oh, yeah. But yeah. So ten words, and just you know, first word that comes into your mind. Are you ready? Uh, I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, success. Money, <laughs> technology, um, better world, space, um, beyond, <laughs> business, opportunity, innovation, discovery, uh, future. Uh, life strategy uh, uh, future <laughs> uh, design good things mm-hmm. IDBM uh, health IMDB what? IMDB what is that? Uh, is that the movie archive? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, 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 well, human well, I mean, um, uh, cultural heritage. Thank you. No, we just wanted to put the last two there. Yeah. Because quite yeah. often people get those <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, being able to laugh at yourself right, and yeah. all that. Thank you so much, Alexi. Always a pleasure. Thank Thank you. It was a great conversation. Thank you. Thank you so much.